We are currently in downtown Claremont, gonna do a food review on a Saturday evening around 6.30. Claremont gets very, very busy. So, one place that we said, you know what, even though we did a review at it, the review was August of 2021. It's been a few. It's been a few. And that is the Claremont Brewing Company. Now, I think we've been back maybe one other time since then. We didn't film, mm -hmm. but why not do a refresh review at the Claremont Brewing Company? We really liked it last time. Love the setup of the restaurant. They've got usually live music. We'll see. It might, I don't know what time it starts, but we also tried another restaurant and it was like a 50 minute wait. So we're hoping we can just get right into this one and do a review. In fact, if this video is published and you're currently watching it, that means we got in and didn't have to wait. Let's go check it out. There's plenty of parking right now. Um, the restaurant's right there. So there's several spots in this little parking lot. I will say August, 2021, we probably had about 17 subscribers. So at that time, people probably didn't know about us or watch any of our videos. So a refresh is much needed for those who are new to the channel. They can see what it's like. Plus 2024 videos, in my opinion, are much better than 2021 videos. We kind of figured out a better format of doing them. That's why we're here. You can see there is parking out in front. I would say this is a good sign that there's some spots available because we've been here before and you can't even find a spot. Hoping we can get right in. They also have one really good beer here. You know, I'm not a beer drinker, but it's called the White Rooster. And it's one I like. So probably gonna go with that one today. The sun is very bright, so I'm gonna keep my head down. And uh, I know we've gotten sushi and pizza, I think in our first video. Here's a look at the outside of the restaurant. They do have four tables over here. You can see them brewing away inside. But we're gonna head this way. Hours are on the door. So hours are, well, can't see them right now. Let's see. Hours are Tuesday, 3 to 10, Wednesday, 3 to 10, Thursday, 3 to 10, Friday, 11.30 to 12, Saturday, 11.30 to 12, Sunday, 11 to 10. And as you enter, you can see all the TVs over there on the wall. Restrooms are right over that way. You can go inside or outside. They're making some pizzas here with their pizza oven. A nice bar. Looks like we'll be inside today. But they do have outside patio where they usually have live music through there. You can see through there, it's a really nice patio place. In the summer, it can get a little warm, but they do have the umbrellas that provide shade and they do have some fans. In here, they've got more TVs that you can look at and the bar. Here is a look at the craft beers. I'm not seeing the white rooster on here. We did do the flights last time. Uh, we'll have to ask, but here's a look at the craft beers. I really hope they have it. So here's the cocktail side. They do not have the white rooster anymore, so that's a bummer since that was our favorite one. But here's the cocktail side. Here's the wines. And the music does blare pretty loud in here, just so you know. Not sure on the drinks yet, but um, show you the menu. Here are the shareables. Of course, I'm gonna keep talking during the music. We did get, if we come down here, we did get this um, like buffalo chicken dip before. I think we're actually gonna get that again because it was very good. I do find it funny they have an adult Lunchable. I absolutely love Lunchables. That is an adult Lunchable for sure. They've got, um, it's a wing situ it's a wing wing situation. So boneless or bone in wings with the different sauces there. And then down here they do have the sushi, which they have good sushi. I don't remember which one we got last time, but really enjoyed the sushi. I'll show you both sides of the sushi menu there. Both columns. Up here they have tacos. Tacos sound pretty good. I might do a taco sometime. Salads. And then of course, like I said, the sushi is the bottom half of the menu. On the other side, we have sliders, all the different sliders they have. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, they actually have, you goat this, they have a bunch of sliders. Yeah, that does sound good. I did not, I think this is a different menu than last time. So I'm glad we're doing a refresh review since it is a new menu. Music's getting ready to die down so I can kinda stop talking a little bit. Um, but they've got pizza here. 
they are famous for their pizza. They've got really good pizza, lots of options for the pizza. Create your own pizza, and then desserts. I don't remember if we got a dessert, but they do have a dessert flight that you can get all three desserts. So backsides, desserts, kids menu, sides, sliders, and pizza. Now that the music stopped, uh, the pizza is a 12 inch. Three, three sliders per order. And then the front, the front side, the shareables, tacos, salads, wings, and sushi. Definitely a new menu. So they have an apple pie cider. That's interesting. They've got the Irish red ale that Timber's going to get. Um, I wonder what seltzers they have. That might not. High noon. And then Timber said we're going to get the dip, dip, hooray. We're gonna do the uh, you goat this, which is the slider with goat cheese, bacon, strawberries, arugula, honey, locally sourced honey on a grilled bun. That sounds good. We'll get three of those. And you said truffle fries, truffle parmesan fries. That sounds good. Restrooms around the corner there. You can book an event here, a nice bar, and then the pizza oven over there, which we're gonna get. Um, we're gonna switch it up and not do uh, pizza or sushi this time. We've done quite a bit of filming today. I am very thirsty. The water is great. It's good water. And they do have some t-shirts you can buy, some merch. There's a local Winter Park company that makes these posters. I absolutely love looking at them. They do a great job. Here is a look at the apple pie cider. I've never tried one of those before. And here's a look at yours. What was yours? The Irish red ale. There you go. That definitely uh, tastes like apple pie. That is a little strange. That's like the spices, the apple pie. Yeah, like that's, a good, that's a good way to describe it. You know, I'm not much of a beer fan, so I wouldn't be able to drink all of Timber's drink. I mean, I, if I had to, I could, but it's actually not too bad of a taste. And they've actually already brought out the dip. Here's what the chicken dip looks like. It looks really good. I'm excited to give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and slap stinking good on that. The dip is nice and creamy. It's not too spicy at all. Chips are light, crispy, and salty. That is one good appetizer. That took no time. I mean, maybe a whole, what, five minutes, six minutes? But here are the sliders. You get three of them. And then here are the truffle fries. Truffle fries. Oh, they seem crispy, but uh, truffle fries are always good. I can't wait to try it. This looks like a really good meal. Yeah, truffle fries are good. Those are good. Now we're gonna try the burger. That is a lot packed on a little burger. The bun feels really soft. You can see the strawberry on there, bacon. All looks good. That is a very fresh burger. Timber, you're gonna love it. That strawberry and stuff, it, it's good. I've never had a burger that's like, like a garden salad, but a burger. I'm not sure if ranch costs extra or not, but I did ask for a side of ranch and they give you a bunch of it. And quickly. And quick. If you are a fan of ranch, they have very good ranch here. Timber's first try of the burger. I'm excited for her to try it. I think she'll absolutely love it. So far, in her mind, she said these two things are equally great. You don't just consume a lot of burgers like I do, but do you like that one? Yeah. Good? I'd put pickled red onions on it. You would? Good choice, yeah. This is actually quite a bit of food because obviously you can keep eating the chips, truffle fries, there's a lot, but we're still going to town. It's actually not really too busy in here tonight. Normally it's very packed, but um, they are playing some great songs tonight too. They do have some live music starting up. We are all finished here, so we are heading back outside. Absolutely stuffed. Oh, that was a lot of food. Oh, man. Okay, I think we ate way too much. The one bummer, they no longer have that drink. On the plus side, I actually think the quality of food is even better than when we went before, which is hard to believe because it was great then. Yeah. But really, really good food. We did order different things other than the chicken dip. Yeah, still so good. I gave that a stinking good. I'm just so full. I think it was all great. It was all great. Our waitress was really good on top of it. It took maybe 40 minutes yeah. in and out. You have to wait 
to be seated or anything. So. Didn't wait on anything. As far as the bell goes, I couldn't show it because they have just one of those little um, electronic things that the waitress brings and just does it. But um, I, I think it was $50.29. So a little more because we both got drinks, but um, a lot of food. Oh man, I'm in a... Whew. And good food. Very good food and fast, friendly. Love that spot in Claremont. That's one of our favorite restaurants in Claremont, um, yeah. especially here in downtown. If you like that kind of stuff, I would definitely go there and try it. What time is it? 7.30, something like that? So, yeah, 7.31. Live music is getting ready to start. So come earlier if you don't want live music. Also, while, while I'm talking, I'll put in a picture of the urinals in the bathroom. They were um, kegs cut in half. So that was clever. And then also they had a Nothing sign. fancy in the girls' restroom, <laughs> I hate to report. Oh, well, ours was pretty cool. And then they also had a sign that showed on Thursday nights is like a DJ and live music and like $5 margaritas. So I'll put that on the screen too. But I would definitely come out and check it out if you, um, I mean, we took my parents here one time and they loved it. Everything's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. That was good. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.